Hey everybody, um, it's me again. It's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I'm going to be teaching on modes. Now let me just say first off, I don't know what possessed me to grab my hefty six string bass. Um, I just bought this thing uh, about a year and a half ago and I really haven't played much on it. So I'm not familiar with the six string. I'm not used to six string. So um, pardon my mistakes I make but I'm not used to this I could just simply grab one of my five strings and, and done it on that but this was sitting out already so that's why I chose this but anyway I'm going to be teaching on modes uh, I'm not an expert on theory and all that stuff I know basic theory I don't know how to read music um, I'm just kinda giving layman's terms for um, a few things that I've learned down through the years and uh, um, so I'm just teaching what I know I'm self-taught I haven't had any lessons or anything I would basically go get videos and books and teach myself on this stuff so anywho um, modes uh, to give a definition of what modes are uh, if you're in the key of C and you do the C major scale if you were to start you change your starting position every time that creates a new mode so when you're in C uh, and you do the C major scale that's the first mode the second mode you would just simply start in D you're still doing the same scale your starting position is just wrong so it would be D that's your key center right there and then when you do the third one you're just starting on the third position in the C major scale which is E and you're starting and finishing on E but you're still on the C major scale and so on and so forth so um, you know you might want to grab a pen and jot this stuff down this is a lot of information I don't know it by heart I got an actual cheat sheet here that I'm using um, to go off of something I kind of made up on my own uh, a while back and maybe if you, some of you want to leave me your email address or something uh, I can put it in PDF form and then uh, uh, email it to you so you have a chart actual an actual chart rather um, but what you want to do is learn the positions as patterns uh, that way it makes it a little easier to remember when you look at the shape of the pattern because most of us know the C not C but we know the major pattern and the minor pattern but there's modes all in between there so let me start out by saying that the major I mean not the major the modes are as follows uh, the first mode is Ionian which is the major scale or whatever key you're in the second one is Dorian which starts off the second note in that same scale the third one is Perigian which starts out in the, th on the third position uh, the fourth is Lydian the fifth is Mixolydian the sixth is Aeolian and the seventh is Locrian so um, so let me start I guess I'll just put put us in C um, everybody knows a major scale at least I hope you do C D E F G A B C that one is called Ionian Ionian in the second one you would go to D and the notes are D E F G A B C D now you're playing it as if you're playing the uh, C major scale but you're starting on the second note in the C major scale and this is what it sounds and looks like try to get in a position so you can see it a little better okay the third one which will start on E um, it would be E F G A B C D E and this is what the pattern looks like now the fourth one all you do is go the next note just a half step up the fourth one which is F same notes you're just starting on the F in the C major scale and this is what it sounds like 
the notes are F G A B C D E F and this is what it sounds like <laughs> Okay, that's the fourth position. Now, the fifth position, let me see if make sure I got this right. Okay, the fifth position is G. So, fifth position G, and this is what, uh, actually, I'm sorry, the notes would be G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And this is the pattern for that, for G, which is called Mixolydian. Okay. Now the sixth one, which is A, is the actual minor scale. So we all I'm hoping most of us know what the minor scale is. Um, which is A, uh this uh in C major, the relative minor is A. So the sixth position is A, which is called Aeolian. Um, and it's the minor scale. I'll play it one more time. Okay, that is the sixth position. The notes are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Now, for the seventh position, it's called Locrian. Let me make sure you can see this here. It's called Locrian. Okay. Locrian, the notes are B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And this is the pattern for Locrian. just went through all of them I know this is a, a rough video but um, basically if you're playing with anyone and they're doing a groove and that the, the uh, basic chord structure is, is C major um, you can play any of these modes and it'll fit right on top of that so this is a good basis to get started on uh, knowing how to improvise when you memorize these different patterns uh, uh, you can start out you know you of course when you first start it's going to sound more like you're practice, practicing scales um, but you want it to sound musical not mechanical so uh, what you once you learn these scales these modes in and out inside and out um, learn different starting positions within that scale <clears throat> and start you know kind of playing around with them uh, if you have somebody that plays keys or something have them play a groove or something uh, uh, with a C major chord and then just play your modes on top of it to practice and you'll hear how they fit right into the mix of things or if you have a keyboard uh, pick a sound that you can push on the sustain pedal and it holds that chord after you push it it'll hold it and then you can go over your scales that way your modes rather to hear how they fit um, within that uh, major scale so I hope this has been helpful to uh, someone um, feel free to leave any comments I apologize for kind of rushing through this but I uh, just want to put a video together to help everybody out since it's been so long since I've uh, posted a video um, so um, have at it if you feel the need to want to know uh, you know what chart I have I'm sure you can probably find it online somewhere but I just made this thing up myself leave your email address and um, I'll email it to you so keep practicing I know I am um, I'm pretty rough it's been a minute but uh, I won't take much to get back in the swing of things um, so I hope this helps um, feel free to leave me comments um, all you, those of you that know your theory left and right and inside and out I know I probably didn't teach this exactly how it would go um, according to your knowledge but this is just what I know how to do so um, you know, leave